the white shoe slaying. Jesus. She don't care about the road. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just really? cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Okay. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps. The That's kind of weird. Time. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Come on, Fenbar. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Okay. Uh, <sighs> the fuck? A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, Hi. California's Ooh, love affair. Jesus so. Christ, your tie as is. As the bricks hold up, we are quitting. There'll always be killers in this town to send. I don't think San Quentin is a thing anymore. Olive oil comes from olive oil. Baby oil comes. Greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop? Hold on. There we go. Sam is taking me to Palm Springs. How do I run again? Oh. Hello? See, you have an umbrella. For what? Come on, Fenbar. Let's go. Oh, calm no. down! I'm, 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 I'm calm. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. No, Phelps, all these arrests on your rack are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive move. than an ocean full of minnows. Move, move, move. Minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Where do I go? Take the next right. Thank you. Ugh. Sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where do I go from here? Hang your right. Again? Pick a right. No. That's a left. I don't care what you say. That guy there will lead us up. Come on. I didn't stop. Okay, I did stop, but I'm not going to stop. I'm stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body, partner. We're used to seeing them. Another Every blurry episode. God damn it. They take 20 minutes just to edit the five minute death scene. Or the five minute crime scene. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Jesus Time of Christ. death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. Oh, thank fuck. I doubt very fuck. much he was concerned with her dignity. Green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. Mm. And no handbag or other personal effects. 
Oh god, can I see her? I hope that's her panties. Not now, Phelps. Okay. Jesus. Eh, hey, there you go. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Huh. So... We're going to dry clean our suits there. What does that tell us? How do I get all the good ones? I have to edit it after this. Oh, there's no... Okay. I'll... I'll not... Ooh, hello? Oh, right. Coincidental, coincidental people. Just ignore the thing over there. Coincidental. <sighs> No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Yes, somehow on top of the grass, because the layer thing is a little bit different than that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. If not, we have two people to send to San Quentin. Hi, Ray. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Okay. Oh, Jesus, no. What now? Oh, God, that's the mother. That's got to be the mother. Oh, God, no. The mother's going to kill me. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Oh, right, Detective right. Phelps, okay, LAPD. we'll go. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Uh... <laughs> Did you see anyone around here hmm? last night? Hi. Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Great explanation. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might Aren't find you all? him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. <sighs> Just walk on home. Whoa! Look at you, Phelps. The jumpy guy. I don't know what I can tell you. We'll have to talk later. Okay. Goddamn captain's making reads of this paper. Hmm. Over. Oh. Thank you. Rusty, what about you? Any ideas? I'd say call it in. R and I might have something to get us started. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Nothing there. The hell is that sound? Is it that? Okay. It's one creepy sound. Fucking pole vault. I'll vault the thing next time. Morning. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? 
detective. I need an address on superior <sighs> number services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Okay. Thank you. Now, can I talk to... Ray Pinker. Things under control until Pinker and Carruthers finish up. Sure, Detective. We'll stay out of their way. Pinker. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. No, it's not you. I want Pinker. I'll call you when I know something. Meanwhile, get on with the case. I was just... I just wanted to know. Just... Fucking, fucking guy. Just... I'm asking questions, I'm getting shit done. Hey. Back on the other page. Let's go. Ugh. Where do we go now? No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you <gasps> Tram. Hey, come on. Um. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying. Sorry. Right? Before you start trying to Wait, link this on. to Maldonado and all the others. Hold on. Yeah, I thought as much. You can't get on these. Damn it. Always wanted to know. Always wanted to know. Get back in. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Yeah. Understand? At least the rain stopped. We can change back into those white bucks now. Into what? Hello? Oh, back Phelps here. and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. Okay. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Thank you. You didn't even ask for a badge. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Uh, F a -f -f thing. Flues. Andrew label. F thirteen sixty three. 1363. 1363. 1363. Miss T. Ter uh, the thing. Mrs. T. Terrelson. 43 Terrelson. Street, okay. Westlake. Bye. Is that seriously it? Hello? Sir? Okay. Let me out. Thank you. Yeah, the car's a little dinged up. Just a little. Uh, over here before we start accusing anyone. Err. I've got a feeling more. we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color Rusty's your detective work? Racer. Just you wait. The Nordic yeah. types show a particular disposition for this. Jesus Christ, there's kids. Uh, 
Uh, hi. Oh God, Dars. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe <sighs> your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have um, someone who kids. can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for the And one kid is still smiling. The most evil child of all. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. Evil First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girls. They're acting like this is just, well, another day. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be alright. Did you not just hear what? We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Shouldn't. Oop. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bumps oh, filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. To check if she was a regular. Okay, where? Baron's Bar. Okay. Who's winning? White. Oh, it's gonna be white winning. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Incidental. Okay. I don't even know what it says, but okay. Yeah, surely that's nothing. Maybe not. So she went out without her handbag? Pick up something. Oh. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Hmm. To the knob. There we go. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. May 8th. Oh. There you go. What are you searching? Muddy shoes. We can see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. Huh. Now we know why he's a dickhead. Unless we find footprints out here. Where's the dog? Ew. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be asking that. Anything out here? Like a murder weapon? Ah. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. See? I'm smart. So far, Rusty's razor is looking to be a thing, but we all know that this could be a ruse to say, hey, is this? No, nope. no, it's not. It's something else. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Baron's bar again. Hmm. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. And it's always just three. I wonder why the picture was turned down. And why he has such a sour face. Oh. Another bag. Nothing significant. 
Okay. Okay. Rum -de -rum -de -de. Get out of the way. Incidental. I don't think so. <sighs> Maybe. If... No. Okay, fine then. Stop stomping on all my shit. What is over here? Ooh. A model of the boat outside. And some pictures. Of people who look like they shat themselves. Hold on. We're trusty. So you're gonna see your I found man. that before you. Don't run me over, don't run me over, don't run me over, don't run me over. Sorry! I said don't run me over. I don't want them to hear me. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. That's better not just be messages. Can you run an address for oh, a right. Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Hi, don't run me over. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. I said don't run me over. <sighs> Hi, miss. Why are you reading in such a depressive place? Okay. <laughs> kind of weird, but... For the okay. record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would if want to hurt Tracy, you? If it was Tracy, we would have no. to walk out. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Hmm. For the record, Tarleton, did you kill your wife? Oh my god. This is... No. I didn't kill my wife. And fuck you for suggesting it. There's kids in the next room, you fucking idiot. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Hmm. You let your drunk wife I leave the party and go you off on her own? Bastard. Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea it's where? It's a compromise, she always you goes. tit. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. <sighs> Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Hmm. Spill it, Terrelson. I don't like the look that. of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. You're driving me fucking crazy. What time crazy. did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. <sighs> when was the last Where? time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. And when? The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Hmm. Why did you only report your wife missing Damn. this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. Thanks for answering our and question, you went to You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be given in to them your entire life. 
Can I kill you, Finbar? Yeah, I said it. Bitch. Oh, that's, that's Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. I want to backhand the bitch. Hold on. There's something here. I'm missing something. Or I'm coming back here at some point. Where's what? What, what have I missed? Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. We know about that. We know about the shoes. Ah. Lars was out in the rain last night. Shit. Sounds like the Carrollton Broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. Yeah, I, I was getting to that. You, you motherfucker. Gonna slap you. Gonna slap you hard. Right upside the head. <laughs> 